There's a new kind of research being done in animal science, and particularly in the beef cattle area. It's called fetal programming. And I thought we'd discuss that a, a little bit on today's Cow-Calf Corner. What do we mean by fetal programming? What we're talking about is the impact that different kinds and amounts of nutrition going into the mother cow while she's pregnant, how it may impact the performance of that calf after it's born. And quite frankly, out of all the research that's being done in this area, I still think there's a lot more questions out there than there are answers. One of the areas that I think, though, that we're getting a little better understanding of fetal programming taking place is in the area of immune status of these calves. Research recently done and published from South Dakota State University took a look at cows that were given different levels of nutrition during the middle third of gestation. They took half the cows and, and fed them to stay in a good body condition of about 5 to 5.5. The other half were cut in their nutrition to 80% of maintenance during that three-month period in the middle third of gestation. Then they followed those calves after they were born as they went on to the feedlot. They found no difference in the calves in terms of uh, birth weight, uh, growth and performance during the feedlot, uh, feed efficiency, but when they challenged those calves with a foreign protein, such as they might get if they had a disease entity that was meeting up with those calves, what they found was that the calves born to those cows that stayed in good body condition throughout that middle third had a higher antibody response to that foreign protein, which meant that their immune status was stronger they were going to do a better job of responding to any kind of vaccination that might be given to them, as well as responding better to any disease challenge that might come along. So I think in terms of fetal programming, one of the areas that we do uh, have a pretty good idea about is that the status, the nutritional status of the mother cow during especially the middle part of gestation is going to have an effect on that baby calf's ability to stay healthy while it's uh, going through the stalker phase, the feedlot phase, and, and on perhaps even into an adult cow if that's what it's going to be used for. I think that this is an area of interest you're going to read more about in the future, but I thought you might like to get a little bit of an understanding of what they're talking about when they mention fetal programming. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>